The Space Race A technological battle fought between two of the strongest countries in the world. The mid-1900s would hold some of the greatest feats in modern history. A tense battle fought between the democratic United States and the communist Soviet Union would make humanity push its limits. It was time to conquer space. Before the space craze, America and the Soviet Union were already at odds with each other. The Cold War. This was an economical and political battle between the two superpowers of the world. Each country strived to be the best and would not let anyone take the lead over another. Events such as the construction of the Berlin Wall and the Cuban Missile Crisis made tensions high between the countries. The powerful forces were trying to find a way to edge out each other. This is when the Soviets made a decisive move. On October 4th, 1957, the USSR launched Sputnik 1. The launch of Sputnik 1 was a huge deal in America. No one had ever seen a man-made object outside the boundaries of Earth's gravitational pull. Americans feared that Soviets were becoming stronger than ever before and were gaining ground on the U.S. Americans also feared that Sputnik could have missiles or cameras attached so it could be used to spy on the U.S. Something had to be done, and fast. The Soviets also launched Sputnik 2 on November 3, 1957. Sputnik 2 was launched with the dog Laika, these launchings created great tension between the U.S. and USSR, and the U.S. decided they had to do something before it was too late. Nearly four months after Sputnik, America responded. January 31st, 1958, Explorer 1 was launched. This 30-pound satellite was designed by the U.S. Army and was directed by rocket scientist Warner Von Braun. It was the first satellite launched by the U.S. This was a huge step in America's journey to conquer space. It was then that America had finally entered the space race. However, these satellites did not hold any humans. It wasn't until much later that the first humans would be launched into space. Instead, animals were sent. NASA credits the first animals to reach space intentionally to be fruit flies. Because little was known about radiation effects on animals in space, much testing was needed before sending humans into the cosmos. Twelve dogs would have been launched, the first one being Laika aboard Sputnik 2. Laika was a Soviet space pup and the first animal to orbit the Earth. She died in space due to overheating. Although testing animals in space was quite cruel, it was a vital step to getting humans into space. During testing, effects of radiation, weightlessness, and overall survivability of space was observed to make the chances of human survival more likely. After the success of Explorer 1, President Eisenhower signed a public order which created a federal agency solely dedicated to space exploration. The National Aeronautics and Space Administration, also known as NASA, was founded. This would be America's main source of space work and would prove to be a great success. 
However, at the time, the USSR was surging ahead, launching Luna 1 and Luna 2 in January and September of 1959, respectively. Luna 2 was the first satellite to actually make contact with the moon. This showed the Soviets' technological intelligence at the time. The Soviets continued to shoot ahead in 1961 when Vostok 1 was launched in April. This was a huge deal. Vostok was the first ever satellite to hold a human. Cosmonaut Yuri Gagarin was the first person to ever orbit the Earth. It seemed like the Soviets were getting far ahead of them and America needed to respond. This was when Project Mercury was created. This was the US effort to send a man into space. On May 5, 1961, the Americans finally made a move. Aboard Freedom 7, Navy Commander Alan Shepard became the first American to travel in space. After this success, President Kennedy made an audacious statement. I believe that this nation should commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the earth. No single space project in this period will be more impressive to mankind or more important for the long-range exploration of space, and none will be so difficult or expensive to accomplish. Everyone knew that if Americans were going to be the first on the moon, it would require a monumental amount of time, energy, and money. This was when NASA created the Lunar Landing Program. Project Apollo was in place, and its one and only goal was to get men on the moon. Project Apollo was a promising program. Over the course of three years from 1961 to 1964, NASA's budget increased by nearly 500%, and over 34,000 NASA employees worked on the Apollo missions. America seemed to be racing ahead of everyone else involved in the space race. It didn't seem like anything would be able to stop them. Throughout the early 1960s, each side of the space race continued to strive for the moon. On January 27, 1967, Apollo 1 was on the launching pad. This was the first rocket in Project Apollo, and there were high hopes for it. However, disaster struck. Suddenly, the rocket caught a flame and almost immediately killed all three astronauts inside. Gus Grissom, Ed White, and Roger Chappie all lost their lives. This was a devastating loss to the Americans. However, America itself was not deterred by this. After extensive testing, on November 9, 1967, Apollo 4 was launched. January 22, 1968, Apollo 5. April 4, 1968, Apollo 6. America again began to surge ahead of competition. Apollo 6 would become the last rocket to not hold any humans. On October 11, 1968, Apollo 7 was launched, containing three astronauts who safely returned back to Earth on October 22. Once NASA was confident humans would be able to survive out in space, it was finally time to focus on the moon. Over the course of the next seven months, Apollo 8, 9, and 10 were all launched. Both Apollo 8 and 10 were able to successfully orbit the moon. It was finally time for NASA not only to orbit the moon, but now land on the moon. Then finally, more than a decade after NASA was founded, Apollo 11 was formed. Astronaut Neil Armstrong, command pilot for the Apollo 11 moon landing mission. What is the purpose of the Apollo 11 mission? Apollo 11 is man's first attempt to demonstrate the ability to go to the moon, to land there, and to return to Earth. Apollo 11 was boarded by astronauts Neil Armstrong, Edwin Aldrin, and Michael Collins. On July 16, 1969, they launched. Apollo 11 was the first ever lunar landing attempt by either side of the space race. Four days after initial launch, Apollo 11 was closing in on the moon. On July 20th, 1969, USA made history. Apollo 11 successfully touched down on the moon as Neil Armstrong exited the spacecraft, he became the first man to walk on the moon. When he stepped out, Neil made one of the most famous statements in mankind. I'm going to step off the limb now. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. This was it. 
USA had successfully landed men on the moon. Against all odds, America effectively won the space race with the famous Apollo 11 mission. After Apollo 11, NASA continued to send men to the moon. The last few rockets associated with Project Apollo were all successful lunar landings. All of them except the famous Apollo 13. This spacecraft had a malfunction due to an explosion and rupture of an oxygen tank, causing the astronauts to turn around back to Earth. Despite many setbacks, America persevered. USA was known as the most technologically advanced country in the world. They finally edged out the USSR, and it was all because of the space race. Today, there is another space race occurring. Instead of the US facing the USSR, it is now China who is the opponent of the USA. Elon Musk's SpaceX and Jeff Bezos's Blue Origin are attempts at making profit off of space, and they are competing not only with China, but with themselves. In terms of government involvement, the Space Force was created by President Trump to try and stop China from becoming too strong of a force in space. Its goal is to protect the U.S.'s interest in space and provide further space capabilities. Both China and the U.S. have one main goal in mind, profit. Access to space would mean more power, more resources, such as raw minerals, and therefore a stronger economy. As the space race progresses, it seems to get more heated, more dangerous, and ultimately more uncertain. There remains one pressing question. Who will become the dominant force in space? And who will gain access to what could potentially mean becoming the strongest economic force in the world?